Woo! L to the B to the D to the C. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach's Show. The Coach's Show live. And the Coach will slap the yellow right off your teeth. Man! I know people want to hear my thoughts about this. Folks, listen. You know damn well. Canelo finna knock male ass smooth out. I know some of y'all don't want to hear this, okay? I know some of y'all don't like this. But, you know, guys, I'm looking at photographs of Jamel Charlo. He, he's not like an overly big dude. I mean, to be honest, nah, he's not that big. Not at all. Canelo's at your big dude, man. Walk around. I just, I don't, I, I don't think Mel gonna have the power to deal with this dude. And I've been saying this for a long time. That so Canelo Alvarez would whoop up, he would whoop both the Charlos. Now he would definitely whoop Jamal right now in Jamal's state of mind, because Jamal is mentally like he's mentally uh unhealthy right now. But I've been saying this for years that Canelo would beat both the Charlos. I just I don't know. I don't think Mel I don't think I think Mel got skills. I just don't think he got the power to keep Canelo off of him. I don't think so. Don't think so. I think Mel gonna end up. Mel gonna end up. This this remind me of the Kell Brook and Triple G fight. No 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 no. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't think I think Mel got a little bit tougher chin than Amir Khan. I think Mel got a tougher chin. I honestly, Amir Khan would have beat Canelo if Amir Khan had a chin. Amir Khan would have beat Canelo. Like seriously, legit, he'd have beat Canelo if he'd have had a chin. He got caught. Mel got a better chin than Canelo. I mean, Mel got a better chin than Amir Khan. He's got a better chin than Amir Khan. But I don't know, man. I, I just see I, I, I just see the openings, man. Like, where well, he going to counter this out of Mel. I'm telling my man, he going to counter this dude to death. He going to hit him with body shot after body shot after body shot. I mean, is Mel going to be able to deal with that? I don't know, guys. To me, the handwriting on the wall. I think Jamil Charlo finna get his ass whooped. I know some of y'all ain't gonna like this. It's just Canelo walk around big, man. He walk around big. Like, to be honest, <laughs> Canelo should probably be fighting up at the next weight class. If I said 168 pounds, I, I, I think Canelo should move up. Like, seriously. I mean, the guy walks around at what? Damn near what? Almost 200 pounds. He walks around at damn near 200 pounds. So, I mean... What is Mel supposed to do, man? What is Mel supposed to do? Like, Mel been fighting at 154 for his damn whole damn career. And you know Canelo not going to try to squeeze back down into 154. Man, y'all remember when they uh, they made another weight class for Canelo? Y'all remember, remember when Canelo was fighting at what, uh, 155? I used to rock with Canelo heavy, man. I used to be a heavy Canelo fan. I'm not a fan anymore, but, man, I'm not finna deny this man's skills. Canelo, even though he got his ass whooped by Bivol, even though he got his ass whooped by Bivol, and he did, it was an ass whooping. Canelo can fight. Redhead muffin top, man can fight. Whether you like him, don't like him, learn to love him. Because he about to knock Mel smooth out. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to make me a video and I'm going to say I told you so. I'm going to say I told you so. This man going to knock out, he going to knock the red and blonde dye out of Mel here. He, he, he's going to slap the dye out this man here. I mean, just you watch. You got Canelo running around here calling him an MF. <laughs> Ain't that funny, man? Canelo be calling people MF, but he don't like to be called MF. Be ready to fight when you call him an MF. Crazy. Crazy. Remember when Canelo slapped them glasses off Caleb Plant head? <laughs> he slapped the sh out of Caleb Plant. But, man, these are the kind of fights that Canelo likes, okay? He likes when there's an advantage. See, when he fought Bivol, it wasn't really a size advantage. It wasn't a size advantage. And what Bivol did, it was genius, man. Bivol kept a jab in Canelo's face, and Bivol used his offense as defense. He didn't even give Canelo time to try to counter him. He stayed in Canelo's ass. <laughs> Canelo don't want that fight again. He don't want that work again. I start saying, damn. Really, really, Canelo. 
but but the man don't want to fight Bill. Don't want to deal with the man anymore. <laughs> I start laughing. I mean, I don't know. What can you tell Mel Charlo? Kick him in the nuts? That's probably about all Mel gonna be able to do. Folks, I know y'all don't like that. But I but but your boy, I'm not a Mel Charlo fan either. I, your boy finna get his ass whooped. I'm just telling you, I know some of you guys. I, I listen, we can't get around it. Some of you guys, you are all built in, you pro Charlo. You Charlo this, you Charlo that, you Charlo, you got Charlo shirts. You got Char I mean you got Charlo headgear. You got Charlo everything. I mean you guys are all bought up, bought into the Charlos. I get it. But he's gonna get his ass whooped. And Canelo is gonna knock this guy out. Yeah, I'd be shocked. If Mel Charlo can go to distance with Canelo, I don't think that hurts his career. I just I don't know guys. I just see Canelo knocking this guy out. And I'm talking about knocking him out completely, cold. It's just been a hard two years for the Charlo brothers. And then, moreover, think about this, y'all. Think about this. Let's say he do get through Canelo. That's a brutal fight. Then you got Bud Crawford. I don't think Mill going to be able to handle it. I just, that's too many. That's too many, like, those are two dangerous fights, and that's a lot of damage. You know Canelo going to inflict some damage on my man. And you know Bud Crawford gonna beat him down. I just I don't even think he got a I, he don't have a prayer in beating Bud Crawford. He don't have a he don't have a prayer in beating Bud Crawford. It's just not gonna happen. But it is what it is though. I mean I don't know. Uh, Jamel can call a lifeline or something. You know see if somebody can help him out. Cause Canelo gonna get him in the corner, man. And he just uh, Canelo gonna lean that big body on Jamel Charlo. Charlo gonna be trying to box and do all this other stuff. Canelo gonna put that big body on him, and then he gonna start delivering them body shots. And Charlo footwork gonna slow down, and and that's it. If Jamel Charlo beat Canelo, I mean, if he beats Canelo, if he and have moreover, if he can knock Canelo out, I give him a shot at beating Bud. I give him a shot at beating Bud. But if Canelo just beat his ass for 12 rounds or knock him out, he ain't beating Bud. And really, you know, it sounds like, it don't, don't it sound like whenever they ask Jamel Charlo about Terrence Crawford, it's almost like the dude get offended, man. Well, he ain't done that, man. He ain't done that, man. No. No. I was undisputed. I was undisputed. I was undisputed before he thought about being undisputed, which is a lie. He said that. I was undisputed. I was undisputed before he did, you know, before he was trying to be undisputed. I got shooters on Deontay Wilder. I remember, y'all remember he said that dumb stuff too. <laughs> y'all remember when Mel said that stupid ass? Anyway, anyway. Man. Well. Well. Mel talk a lot of junk. He talk a lot of junk. He talk a lot of junk. I mean, this man talked so much. Man, his breath's starting to smell like it. But anyway, y'all tell me what you think, man. Who you guys got winning? <laughs> I got Canelo Alvarez probably by eighth round knockout. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs>